Regan Smith. Let's start with Regan and Kyle. Well, Shannon, it's been a fast start for Kyle Larson again this season. A win last week at California, starting second place today. First, though, got to touch base on what happened at the end of the race last week at California. A little bit of a dust up with you and your teammate. Where do things, where do things stand today? Uh, I think good. Uh, we had a, a meeting earlier this week with Rick and all four of the, the teams, and then uh, was able to catch up with Chase yesterday. So uh, it was good to do that um, and, you know, just kind of talk about where what happened from my point of view and things like that and where I made a mistake. So, um, yeah, just ready to move forward and ready to get back racing here at Vegas. My HendrickCars.com Chevy felt really good yesterday in practice and qualifying, so I think we should have another good shot. You start second today. Last week you had to go to the back of the field. Maybe a little bit less work early on today for you. How will that change how the race plays out from your from your perspective? Yeah, hopefully we can just maintain that track position. Um, have some good pit stops. Um, I think it'll be a little bit, maybe a little bit harder to pass here just because the speeds are so much faster and the grip's higher. So uh, just try and do a good job of executing a, a flawless race and, and hopefully we can get our second win of the year. Jamie, he rolls off second today looking for his second Las Vegas win. And for the other side of the story, I'm with Chase Elliott now. And Chase, we know the meeting happened this week. You guys are moving forward. But if you're in that same situation with your teammate again, how does it play out? Uh, well, the best way to deal with it is just to be fast enough where you're in front of everybody else uh, is kind of how I look at it. So look, you know, unfortunate what happened uh, and nothing's going to change those results. We certainly had the the bad end of the deal with our Napa team, but um, you know, like, like we always talk about, you got to focus on going fast and, and trying to uh, just out outrun everybody else. And if we put ourselves in a in a good position to, to be up front, I think we can achieve that. So looking forward to the day. Always nice to get back to the track after a bad weekend and, and be able to go back to work. You guys had a little more practice yesterday. What were you able to learn and understand about this race car for today's race? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a challenge for sure. And I, I think we're all still learning. I'm certainly still learning just kind of what the limits are with this car and uh, what positions you can get yourself in and, and still, uh, you know, be comfortable. What is comfortable uh, with this thing? So, uh, you know, this is the type of track we're going to see a lot of this year and, you know, a good opportunity to really learn. So, you know, last week was, was a good example for us, but not quite the same as a place like this. So uh, hopefully we can move around a lot today. I think the groove is going to move a lot. Um, you know, it's still kind of chilly out here, but the sun's out, which is not what we had yesterday. It was overcast and, and really chilly. So um, I think we'll be using up all the all the uh, opportunities of, of lanes today. And hopefully our, our car can do that and do it with comfort and be able to make pace. All right. Certainly a great opportunity for Chase Elliott to get his first career win here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Shane.